Okay, so now we're going to start talking about, uh, let's say you want to get into some really cool scripted events. So when you play the campaign, there's some pretty cool scripted events with uh, enemy NPCs, like the mutants, uh, the human animals. So let's say in your mod, your mod map, you want to uh, create one of those events where like it's kind of like a little cutscene where the mutant attacks the player. So before we get into uh, the mod map and start adding that event into it, uh, one of the things that has helped me a lot with building the mod uh, and learning as much as I can is if you go to the main uh, the main project itself that comes with SDK, uh, not on your mod. Uh, if you go to this 06 bridge level, which is essentially the Volga map that has like all the assets in it, stuff like that. Uh, we're going to go into this real quick. Okay, so you can see we have the bridge level loaded up, which is essentially the Volga map. So what's great about this map is uh, if you're learning how to do the mod, uh, or in this case, we want to learn how to do that scripted event. Um, what really helps is like just looking at anything you want to do. So, like, let's say I wanted to you know, replicate the gas station. So, you can go here, uh, click on all the items in the gas station, and see what they do. But for now, um, what we're going to focus on is figuring out that scripted event for the mutant. So, we're going to go over here, and we're going to go in game. And what we're going to try to replicate is this. So, <clears throat> we're going to exit the simulation. And so, with the simulation exited, uh, we're just going to look at... So, here is the... Let me slow my speed down here. All right, we're going to go back to this real quick. So, here is the area where the scripted event happens. So, if you hit S as your selector tool and you click on the box that it's in. So, this right here is essentially a part of a group. So, you can see there's a multiple layers in this. This is like the parent box. Um, you can see there's like the helper arrow right here. And then these are... Uh, essentially like the AI points for the human animal. So here on the left, you can see that this scripted event is essentially a group. So groups allow you uh, to group a lot of stuff together, like uh, scripted events, objects, uh, to keep it a little bit more like organized and cleaner. Um, so for this, if I click back on it, you can see here in this group, um, it has like, essentially like the dummy asset, it has the AI scripted event uh, for the animal and then the uh, player. And so, if you look in this and you're trying to like dissect it, what we're going to do is delete this helper arrow with the delete key. And we're going to look at these like scripted AI tasks here, so there's two of them. So if you look here on the properties on the right, you can see here that it's parented to the dummy humanimal presentation 01 right here. And one of the uh, things it's linked to is the lock eyes, and the other one is linked to the, uh, the Ford. And <clears throat> what's great about uh, dissecting this is like we'll just delete these two AI events because we don't really technically need them uh, to showcase this. So we'll delete this. And the most important part is this group right here. So if you look at the properties on this group that I selected, you can see here that it has a reference in the properties. So this levels 06 bridge and the uh, humanal presentation. So this is where it comes important as far as this reference, because we're going to use this when we build uh, this scripted event for the humanimal. And here you can see uh, that the uh, Visual Script uses the Humanal Matrix, um, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. So that's kind of how I looked at it, a little bit kind of dissecting it a little bit. So we're going to exit out of this because we don't need anything. And we're going to go into our modded level. 
So I'm going to deselect off the main. I'm going to go into my mod and I'm going to select my map. I'm going to launch the editor. Okay, so we are in my modded level right now. So we're just going to go over here and let's just say I wanted to add a scripted event uh, when the player comes around this corner for the tower. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create, uh, well, I've already created it, but what you want to do is since um, the scripted uh, events, you kind of want to put them in their own layer to keep track of them. So here I created a layer that's called map actions uh, for all of my scripted events. So we've got that. So we're going to go to our entity list and we're going to search for group. So essentially that was that red box we saw on the bridge map. So right here. And so what's cool about this, adding the scripted event, is it's actually pretty easy. There's like no uh, visual scripting. We have to do nothing crazy. So as long as you click on this in the properties, can I was talking about earlier on the bridge map, you can see here the reference is empty, unlike the other one. So we'll click on here and we will search for the humanimal uh, reference that we were wanting. So you can see here, it's called that humanal presentation that we just looked at. So we'll hit OK. And what's cool is it generates everything you need. It's like there's the helper arrow, the two AI points, um, and it's all attached to this group. And <clears throat> so one thing you'll notice is you're like 90% of the way is if I go in here to the game and recalculate everything. So I'm going to go over here. Yeah, let's just pretend I came to the door, and it's like, oh no, scripted event, but there's no mutant, it's just empty. So, the, in order to fix this, is essentially every scripted event um, that has uh, like an NPC, uh, or like a monster, anything like that, um, you can't just add stuff like this. It has to clone it. It needs essentially like an object to reference uh, in order to get this to work. So uh, kind of going back, so you can see here that the uh, the visual script wants this matrix, the humanal matrix. So when you see these matrixes, um, this is essentially the object it's cloning uh, to get for reference for that. So if we go back to our entity list and we just search for matrix. So under all these prefabs, you can see it has the creatures. Each one of the creatures has its own matrix. So if I take the humanimal one, which is the one we need, drop it. You can see here is the assets it needs to clone from. So you're not going to do anything with these. These essentially just have to be on the map. Um, these don't have to be on the actual map itself, like the terrain and all this. Um, you want to put these like down in the, let's see, where is it at? Down in the staging area here. It's so, like when you first create a map, so like you want to put them here, but for the sake of it, I'm not going to put them over there. So if we go back and we have these assets here, um, this will now work. So if we go into the scripted event and walk up to it, and so you can see these guys are right here. So we'll go to the scripted event. You can see the mutant showed up. So we got everything working. I'm going to exit the simulation. So that's how you add one of those cool little scripted cutscene events. Pretty neat. Um, so one thing you want to keep in mind too is when you add these scripted events, um, you don't want to just go ahead and uh, put all of these matrices like in that starting point on the map. Um, you really only want to put what you need. So like if you're not using dogs on the map, don't use the dog matrix. Uh, there's no reason to load that extra asset. Uh, so just put only what you need. But uh, yep, hope this helps.